Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for One Piece Manga Chapter 936. I'm excited to read this one. Sumo was in the title, I think. There's just so much going on this arc that uh, who the hell knows at this point. But uh, last time we saw Old Man Hyo and uh, Luffy getting uh, brought before Queen, and I actually liked Queen's character a lot more than I had expected to. Last week was just generally good. This arc's just been generally good week to week. So I guess let's just uh, see what's up next. So uh, yeah, skin to reading, 936. Uh, it's called Sumo Inferno. So I wonder if that one sumo guy from the beginning's gonna come back. I don't even remember his name or anything. Uh, but we have the cover art. Frontispiece request, Aokiji deciding to eat Wanze's noodles but accidentally freezing them instead. Pen name Misato. It's been a hell of a long... We haven't actually seen Wanze since uh, the way to Eni's lobby, right? That's crazy. That is an obscure One Piece character. Okay. Alright, getting past the translator's page. Let's get on to the, uh, to the real one. So, uh, we got Wano Country Udon. He unexpectedly hears the voice of an old friend. Ka okay, yeah, we ended with uh, some guy named Kawamatsu calling out to uh, Raizo. Kawamatsu, is that really you? So, you're still alive? Yes, but I guess there was some point to me eating rotten fish day in and day out for 13 years after all. Show me your face, Kawamatsu. I can't, I'm chained up. When the day of the, er, when's the day of the final battle? Nine days from now, the day of the fire festival. Perfect. I'm ready to fight whenever. I apologize, but could you get me out of here, Raizo? Okay. Just some random helpful samurai. Of course, I'll get right to it. What do you need for your escape? The key to this cell, and the key to my handcuffs, although they're so rusted that I don't even know if they'll come open, but... Someone's standing in front of the cell that's not to be opened. That's him. Lady Solitaire. We found the key thief. Don't you dare let him get away. Crap. Smoke release jutsu. He vanished. He really is a ninja. Find him. Oh, man. Raizo's design is goofy, but as a character, I kind of like him. I really, really dislike his design, though, but still. Now then, we'll just leave the key thief to them. Carry it. Time to execute a pair of idiots. And we have Queen. Lord Queen's Contraption Concert. Sumo Inferno. Okay. I love Queen's little pose thing and the uh, minions that pose beside him. Sumo. Luffy is looking hella jacked. And we see uh, collars placed on Luffy and Old Man Hyo. I suppose you've noticed the collars we just put on you. Think of this, er, think of this stone pillar as yourself. If you happen to leave the ring while these things are on, and then it blows up, whoa. Cl er, no. Claws come out of the inside of the collar, taking your head off with them. Damn it, this thing's the same as these celestial dragon collars. And of course, these things cannot be removed. This is kind of worse than the celestial dragon collars, because we've seen that people just randomly survive explosions in One Piece. Getting stabbed in the throat, though, I don't know if that's as survivable. To make a long story short, just keep winning your sumo matches. If you step out of the ring, you're dead meat. The both of you are a two-man team. If both of you fall, this execution's over. However, if you happen to have a change of heart and wish to join our pirate crew, we'll let you off, Straw Hat. On the other hand, we're allowed weapons, numbers, and no collars. I can throw in as many as I want. I guess I'll do y'all a favor, too. I'll take off your sea stone cuffs. What? What was the point of me going through all that trouble? <laughs> Raxo reacting. They really took them off. Huh. Is this key not Luffy's, then? Yay! You. You're a great guy, you know? You basically let us go free. Aren't you forgetting about that collar, says Queen? To be honest, we've switched those cuffs for something worse. Queen is a really, really interesting character. I really uh, dig their involvement in this arc. Wait a minute. As a two-man team, I'll do nothing but get in Straw Hat's way. Let us fight, or let us go one at a time. Oi, Balloon. If I beat the crap out of you, Balloon, will you let me out of here? First of all, that was rude. And were you even paying attention? Lord Queen, let us at him. He'll learn quick. This guy still doesn't realize just how unfair these rules are. The chance of you living through this is zero. Very well. Prepare yourselves and enter the ring. Deathmatch. More. Get em, waiters. Deathmatch. How we've even got weapons. Do you get it now? You're gonna die. Okay. 
Deathmatch, fighters, let's get ready. Rest in peace, old man Hyo and Straw Hat. This is one of the prisoners. To rumble, and all the uh, guys start charging at them. Take a good look, you prisoners. This is what happens when you go against the guards. Yeah, ha ha. And Luffy looks serious for a moment. And of course he's just going to kick all of their asses. Next, these guys weren't even good for practice. Or good enough for practice, says Luffy. What? What? Don't tell me. A Haoshoku user, eh? Mwahahaha, says Queen. And then we uh, have the guy in the cell still. It's been noisy ever since he showed up, huh? Just don't let or just don't let Boss Hyoguro die, all right? Counting on you, Luffy Taro. Ka pa pa pa. Okay. Flower Capital Bathhouse. Hands up, kya! A bathhouse is perfect for this, huh? Hundred Beast Headliners Hawkins. Nobody move a muscle. Drake of the Flying Fighters is outside too. Okay. What business do you have in this bathhouse? Drake, what are you doing? Get in here, says uh, Hawkins. My mission is to exterminate Soba Mask. Not mess around in there with, er, not mess around in there with you idiots. All right, I freaking love Hawkins and Drake. What should we do, Shinobu? Those guys definitely know about us, says Nami. How cowardly to attack us when we're defenseless like this. Hide behind me, says Shinobu. Should we fight, says Robin. All of you, line up and show us your ankles. Anyone with a reverse crescent moon tattoo is coming with us. All of you in the tubs, you get out too, says Hawkins. No way, how do they know? Search him. Roger. Has our plan been leaked? Okay, and we have an eye appearing on uh, the hair of um, Shinobu. Someone's hiding back there. Crap. <laughs> it's great. Get out here, says uh, Hawkins using his sword. Nami, if something happens, I've got your backs, Robin. My bad, I wasn't trying to hide or anything. I'm just a poor woman passing through. That woman is... What? Oh my, supermodel level. And all the people are freaking out as her towel drops. Of course, Hawkins is probably going to be the only one with any sort of sanity here. Crap, I can't hold it anymore. How destructive. Happiness punch. What? What the... This is the guy from yesterday. Soba Mask, Nami's bountiful river of... Of course, Sanji's knocked out because he was there the whole time. Sanji, why are you here? What are you wearing? Are you serious? Soba Mask, says <laughs> Drake. Apparently, he was inside. I love Drake just, like, instantly, like, Soba Mask? Somebody said his name? Oi, Soba Mask is... Where? If you can't take the sight of naked women, say something ahead of time. Oh, and of course, Drake falls over too. That's not it. Okay? If that's not it, I wonder if he's just saving face or if it is something else. Let's get out of here now. Drake, you're from the North Blue, right? Says Hawkins. Yes, you are too. What of it? If that's Germa 60s, or Germa Double Sixes, Stealth Black. Or that's the Germa Double Sixes, Stealth Black. The real thing. Oh. I like that it's coming back around, them being from North Blue and all. Okay. Drake and Hawkins. Also, the way Hawkins hesitated with Nami, even though recognizing her, I still think Hawkins let Law go earlier in the arc. I think he's uh, not really loyal to Kaido. So, uh, that's kind of an obvious thing to say, but still. We've got to get out of here. After them, they flew away. Sanji's carrying them all. It'll take too long to say everything. I'll explain later. Is your nosebleed okay? I wouldn't mind if I died right now. It's bad that they found out about those ankle tattoos. I've also heard another bit of bad news. Beppo and the others have been captured. What? They're, er, they're trying to break out Traffy. We've got to stop them. They're trying to break out Traffy. We've got to stop him. Okay. I didn't know he was captured. I thought he was with Frankie and everything. The translation might be screwy there. Otherwise, the flower capital is going to fall into chaos. Yeah, because I was pretty sure Law was with Frankie and Usopp, but either, w or either way. And what in the world are you doing at a time like this? Right? Wano Country, Ringo. Ha ha ha, I found you. No more running, right? Took you a while for someone running straight after me. Shut up. I returned to the Meito Shusui, or I returned the Meito Shusui to its rightful place. And this guy has a bunch of swords. Okay. That blade must have been stolen. 
from the grave of the leg legendary Wano samurai, Ryuma. I know. Okay, so this is interesting. I wonder if this guy will uh, end up becoming an ally to Zoro and maybe giving him some cool swords or something. Alright. Then hand it over. Otherwise, I'll take the other two swords you have at your hip. A weapon collector. What are you going to do with all those? It just so happens that we need a bunch of weapons right now. What a coincidence. That weapon collection of yours. I'm taking the lot of it for us. I'll take you down instead, you bandit. A battle on the bridge. Or what will be the fate of Shusui? Next issue, a color cover. I think that this guy could end up uh, figuring out what really happened and becoming an ally to Zoro. I would predict that personally. Either way, that was fun to read once again. I'm interested to actually really get to see the Sumo Inferno going down. Um, since we didn't really get to see it this time. Uh, but yeah, it was really cool, really fun, uh, and I'm excited for next week. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, anything else I should say? I really, really like Hawkins and Drake. Both of those characters are awesome. I've liked them basically uh, from the start when they showed up. And uh, in addition, like learning Hawkins' Devil Fruit power more this arc puts him up there as one of my favorites, possibly, because his Devil Fruit is so interesting. Uh, Drake is really cool, too, and I've always liked Drake. He's always been one of my favorite of the uh, worst generation. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. Like if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it and all that. Subscribe for more One Piece both manga anime whenever I get to it. Much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I can try to keep you up to there and stuff for the channel. And if you want a link to our Discord server to talk to me or more of us there, then just ask and I can give you a link. That's it. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.